kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we'll be seeing a different type of problem when there are more than two service department till now we just saw the problems in which there is only two service department and even we saw how to distribute the cost of service departments to the purchase department but in this problem let us see how to solve when there are more than two service department so when there are more than two service department the distribution whatever we will do we will do it on the basis of non reciprocal method we will follow here non reciprocal method next all the department to be arranged in the descending order of their serviceability so based on the serviceability means for how much service quantity of service they provide it should be arranged in the descending order next first we need to apportion it means divide the cost of that divide uh, apportion the cost of service department of service department which serves the largest number of departments so those type of service department which will serve the la largest number of department means which will provide services to more departments that has to be proportionated first so these are the basic rules how we need to solve the problem when more than two departments are given now the question is on the screen please take the screen screenshot of the question or at least write down the question by pausing the video so that whenever i'm explaining the solution it will be very easy for you to understand a manufacturing company has two production units x and y so it is having two production units that is x and y and three service departments it is having three service departments one is timekeeping service department store service department and maintenance service department the departmental summary showed the following expenses so uh, in production department x total expenses was 16000 and in y it was 10000 and in service department the timekeeping was 4000 then stores was 5000 then maintenance department was 3000 then they have told that in production department x and y time keeping stores and maintenance that is service departments how many employees were there and what are num how much number of store requisitions were there and what was the machine hours worked so based on this all information we need to prepare a overhead secondary distribution because why it is called secondary distribution because we are distributing the cost of service department to the production departments so now let us see how to solve this problem now this is the format on top we will write the overhead secondary distribution summary the overhead secondary distribution summary now the first one will be the expenses item then second one will be the basis of apportionment means on what basis we divide it then we have two production departments so that is x department and y department and three service department are there one is time keeping and stores and maintenance so we have three service department now first let us see the expenses they have given the overhead expenses of the department so they have given overhead expenses primary distribution so for x department it is 16000 y department it is 10000 time keeping department is 4000 next uh, store keeping department is 5000 maintenance department is 3000 next they have told that we need to now distribute this service department uh, cost to this production department only now 
before that first we will divide among stores also now let us take time keeping department time keeping department we need to divide this time keeping department cost to x department y department stores department as well as the maintenance department now time keeping department what they will do they will follow the keep the time of the employees at what time they come for business and what what time they go off out of business so we need to divide it on the basis of number of employees so now this is the time keeping department the total time keeping department expenses are 4000 now this has to be divided among x department y department stores department and maintenance department it will be the basis is number of employees it will be divided on the basis of number of employees in x department there are 40 employees y department there are 30 employees in stores department there are 15 employees and in maintenance department there are 10 employees we can divide it by 5 5 twos are 5 threes are 5 sixes are 5 eights are so 8 is to 6 is to 3 is to 2 so now add everything 8 plus 6 plus 3 plus 2 the total will be 19 now we can divide this among the various department so for x department it will be 4000 into 8 by 19 then for y department it will be 4000 into 6 by 19 and for stores department it will be 4000 into 3 by 19 so 4000 into 3 by 19 and for maintenance department it will be 4000 into 2 by 19 now let us do this 4000 into 8 divided by 19 it will be 1600 and it will be 1684 next 4000 into 6 divided by 19 it will be 1263 next 4000 into 3 divided by 19 it will be 632 rupees next maintenance department 4000 into 2 divided by 19 it will be 421 now this 1684 1263 and 632 then 421 we have to write it here so 1684 1263 so here you have to minus 4000 next here you need to add 632 632 next 421 now this is how we have now we have divided this time keeping department next we need to divide stores department stores department stores means what the store requisition so the division should be done on the basis of number of store requisitions so store department the total expenses of a stores department is 5000 it will be based on store requisition so here we have to now consider even uh, maintenance department only maintenance so now store requisition number of requisition in x it is 24 in y it is 20 and in maintenance department it is 6 so add 20 now first divide 6 ones are 6 okay you cannot 6 6 is 18 so you can divide by 2 table 2 threes are 6 2 tens are 20 and 2 twelves are 24 so 12 plus 10 plus 3 it will be total 25 so for x y and maintenance department for x department it will be 5000 into 12 divided by 25 then for x department it will be 5000 into 10 divided by 25 and for maintenance it will be 5000 into 3 divided by 25 so 5000 into 12 divided by 25 it will be 2400 next here 5000 into 10 divided by 25 it will be 2000 next here 
5000 into 3 divided by 25 it will be 600 so 2400 2600 we have to write it here 2400 2000 and here it is not applicable and in maintenance department we need to write 600 next here we have even left out the 632 rupees so here this is for 5000 now this 632 rupees also belongs to the stores department so we need to again divide the same 632 so here it will be 632 into 12 by 25 and here 632 rupees into 10 by 25 and 632 into 3 by 25 so 632 rupees into 12 divided by 25 it will be 303 rupees so i'll write it here 303 rupees next 632 rupees into 10 divided by 25 it will be 253 rupees next 632 into 3 divided by 25 it will be 76 rupees so write that here okay so now here let us write 253 rupees and here it will be 76 rupees now add all these three then we have to distribute the maintenance department also maintenance department will be on the basis of machine hours now add this 3000 plus 421 plus 600 plus 76 total it will be 4097 so maintenance department total is 4097 this will be on the basis of machine hours so x department is there and y department is there X department machine hours is 2400 and Y department it is 1600. Cancel 2 2 zeros. Then it is divided by 8. 8 ones are 8 twos are 16 and 8 threes are 24. So you can divide in 3 to 2 ratio. 3 plus 2 is 5. So for X department it is 4097 into 3 by 5 and for Y department it is 4097 into 2 by 5. So 4097 into 3 divided by 5 it is. 200 and sorry 2458 and here it is 4 into 4097 into 2 divided by 5 it will be 1638 so the same thing we have to write it here 2458 and 1638 here you have minus you have to minus 5000 and here you have to minus 632 here we need to minus total 497 now we need to do the totaling here you add 16000 plus 1684 plus 2400 plus 303 rupees plus 2458 you will get 22845 next here when you add 10000 plus 1263 plus 2000 plus 253 plus 1638 it will be 15154 here there is 0 here also 0 and here also 0 this is how we need to solve the problem hope we have understood how to solve this problem in our next video we will try to solve some more problems so that it will be clear for you if you have understood this video explanation please let me know that you have understood in the comment box at the same time, if you have any doubt in the problem, please put your queries in the comment box. We will be happy to help you to clear your doubts. I'll come back with our next video. If you have not subscribed our YouTube channel, please subscribe onto your YouTube channel. Because whenever I upload new videos, you will get the immediate notifications. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, Kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.